I don't know anyone who doesn't really love steak and chips. <laughs> no. Oh, I'm a lover of it. <laughs> Adam's here from Wine Selectors with me today, and we're going to do steak and chips, but a little bit fancy. And you've brought some delicious looking wines, which I don't actually recognize. No. To pair with it. Yes, this is going to be a little bit of a discovery. You've got a classic, mm -hmm. and actually the region that we're focusing on today is Geograph, which is in Western Australia. And Geograph actually is a great area for grazing, both beef uh -huh. and lamb. So it's famous for those two products, along with the fact that it's basically a Garden of Eden for growing any type of vegetable, and they've got dairy farms, so. Wonderful. These wines are going to pair magically with this. Excellent. We're going to start with our potatoes. Okay. They can take a little bit of cooking. Once they're on the go, we've got some seasoning here, some onion powder, some paprika, pepper and salt. Sure. So we're sort of going to give these a bit of a fancy twist as well. Okay. Once they're on the go, I'm going to push them aside and then we can put our meat in. But while you're doing that, I'll pour a couple of these wines that I've got. I think that um, is a great idea. I should note the Geograph is located just north of Margaret River okay. in Western Australia. And the climate there is influenced quite heavily by the ocean. Okay. And it's an area that makes fantastic white wines and fabulous red wines. Fantastic. But because we're focusing on beef, mm -hmm. being a produce of that area. I thought I'd bring two red wines. Lovely. And I've got a Shiraz yep. from Geograph. We all know about Shiraz. Um, but I've also got a blend of Grenache, Shiraz, and another little grape variety called Mouvert, which Ooh, you may have seen on a label under the guise of Mataro. Okay. Or if you've ever had a GSM, that lovely delicious acronym of red wine, the move air is the M okay. in that. So I'll pour these out. Both of these will go extremely well. And the spiciness of the Shiraz, the silkiness of the GSM with the beef and spuds. Match made in heaven. Very exciting. Now I think I'm excited because I've never been to that area. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't even necessarily recognize the name as you said it. Absolutely. So one of the exciting things is that Wine Selectors is bringing those unique spaces, mm -hmm. unique bottles that we may not see in stores otherwise. Exactly. To our front door. It gives you, the wine lover, a real diversity of what you're enjoying. Sure, we all love Barossa Valley Shiraz, we love Yarra Valley Chardonnay, but Australia is so blessed to have all these smaller, perhaps less known regions that we're all about mm -hmm. I guess, enabling you to discover and to enjoy. And a lot of these labels you won't see in your neighborhood mm -hmm. bottle shop. So I'll put our Shiraz just on the left, mm -hmm. and then I'll put our blend of, yeah. And then that's the Grenache there as well. I can already tell that's just gonna go beautifully. Mm. The Shiraz perhaps has got a little bit more fruit power. So you've got the best of Very both worlds. Exciting. So I'm gonna cook these potatoes until they're almost cooked through. So you could put a fork in them and there'll be no yield. And they will, because I've rinsed them, drained all the starch from them, they're actually gonna hold their shape quite well. It's definitely starting to smell very chippy it out is. here. It's a great smell. So I'm quite happy with where those are at. So I'm going to season them now, toss that through the seasoning and then we can put our steak on. So we've got some onion powder. You can smell that immediately. You can, some yeah. Some paprika. So no chicken salt on set today. <laughs> no chicken salt. <laughs> A little bit of white pepper. Yeah. Well, that onion powder just hits and goes bang, doesn't it? Absolutely. So we'll toss that through. We might even add a tiny bit more olive oil because they're going to continue to cook for a little while. And you can see the spices are toasting quite quickly. Are you a chicken salt or regular salt person? Well, it depends what it's going on, but yeah. don't mind me a little bit, a bit of chicken, chicken salt. salt. So I'm going to pop them to the side so that we can put our steak in. Now, because we're outside, we're leaving this covered right until the last minute. A little bit of salt, top and bottom. So I'm just gonna oil and season this both sides. Mm -hmm. We'd prefer this than adding too much into the pan. And I noticed before you didn't pull this straight out of the fridge. Absolutely, really important to bring your meat up to room temperature before you're going to cook it. So if you're sort of putting cold steak in, it becomes a little bit out of your control in terms of how cold was the internal temperature. So if you know that it's at room temperature, mm -hmm. you only have to bring it up to the heat once. Cool. So we want the internal oh, temperature to get to 63 degrees for medium rare. Okay. So we're gonna take it off then and rest it. 
before we carve it up. So this steak is about a serving for two. And we've got our homemade chimichurri. Oh, magic. So Brilliant. we can see a nice crust forming on the underside. I really don't want to turn it too many times. So maybe only twice, we'll turn it that other side. So our potatoes and steak are done. Just gonna plate it all up. Looks fabulous. You really can see the benefit of resting Absolutely. that right there. You really want it to relax. So I guess you're gonna reveal when you cut this open in a second, <laughs> which I'm very much looking forward to. So we've still got a little bit of blush in there. We um, have definitely rested it and we will pop on our chimichurri, our homemade chimichurri. Recipe for that's on the website. Perfect. got our chimichurri here. You can be quite generous with it. Doesn't matter if it sneaks around to the potatoes. Well, this would be all mixed in and dipped and all as one, <laughs> yeah. wouldn't it? This is a, one of those fun kind of share plates. Just a little bit yeah. of this, a little bit of that, a little bit more chimichurri. But I'm pretty excited to eat that. As am I. As am I. So there's our steak and taters. <laughs> Done with a bit of a fancy well. chimichurri with a gorgeous geograph drop. Superb. Cheers.